is Birdman and today we are talking about drawing in Harmony. So a little question I get often is how does the eraser work in Harmony? And I thought it would be a great small tutorial to do. Here in my scene I have two drawings. I have my little crown here on the top that is made with a pure vector brush. And at the bottom I have this crown that was drawn with a textured vector brush. So one has like texture and the other one is a pure vector brush. So what I want to show you with this is that when you take your eraser, just like with the brush, there is kind of two types of brush. You would have your solid vector brush and your textured vector brush. With the eraser, it is the same thing. So I'm going to click on my eraser. I'm going to go here. And in the option, you see there's small, medium, large eraser, big eraser. And then you have soft and very soft eraser. Okay. So if you click here on this triangle in the properties, you're going to see that there is solid vector and there is also textured eraser and textured preserved vector. So this is what we're going to explore today precisely. The question arises because oftentimes they're going to draw with a pure vector shape like I have here, but they're going to take the soft eraser and they're going to try to erase and it's going to work until they release. So when they release, it actually didn't work. The reason for this is not a bug, it's not a problem. It is just the logic of how the tool works. This is a vector. By definition, vectors is a yes or no answer. Either you have a line or you don't. There's no gradient and no texture. This is just how vectors are. Because if I use my soft eraser on my bitmap brush instead, it is going to work because I'm erasing the bitmap shape. If I take my select tool and I look, it's still like these big vector shapes. They're still there. It's just that the texture within the vector shape has been erased, which is not something I can do uh, right over here because these are pure vector shapes. If I take a soft bitmap eraser and I try to erase the texture on the stroke, it doesn't work because there is no texture. It is a real full-fledged vector. But the other scenario is possible. I can take a vector eraser and erase my textured vectors. Why is that possible? This is possible because the vector eraser is like a a 100% eraser. So the soft eraser can erase like 25% of the line, but the large eraser is just like, it's always 100%. So since it's always 100%, you can erase your vector with it like that, because it is a yes or no answer. It's not like 99%, it's 100% erased. So that's why the vector eraser can erase everything, but the soft eraser will only work on bitmaps. And here, remember, we had two options for textured eraser. There is textured eraser and textured eraser preserve vector. The difference is pretty simple. Textured eraser, this is going to erase even the vector outline of the shape. So I'm going to show you. So textured eraser, this is the result it's going to give us. It is very, very sharp because it is erasing like the vector outline of that texturing. Okay, so it's not the prettiest if you're trying to erase like traditionally for it to look textured. However, this one will really cut your vectors. The other option is the textured eraser preserve vector. And it's one I was showing you before, where if I use it, I will erase my shape. But it's really just the texture that I'm erasing. The vector shape itself stays. There is no good or bad option. It really just depends on what you're doing. If I'm erasing because I intend to cut that crown in half, then make sure you're using a actual textured eraser so that when I erase, I'm going to do this and then I have like two distinct shape. If you're sketching and you're just trying to make your drawing a bit more pale so that you can draw a bit more on it, maybe more um, definitions after, you can do this and you can keep drawing, but you know, it's still going to be one shape. It's not going to be separated in two. So that's the big, big difference between the pure vector eraser, the textured eraser and the textured eraser that preserves your vectors. And I really hope that this can help you out understand it a bit better and that you finally know why when you're using a bitmap eraser on a vector, it just doesn't work. It's just how it works in any kind of software. I really hope it was helpful. Don't forget to look around at the documentations to learn even more. And at the bottom here, there's some little icons that you might find very useful. Okay, so with that, I'm going to let you go and wish you a wonderful week. Goodbye.